Good afternoon. Uh, the purpose of this video is to explain the student how to calculate throughput accounting ratio and the ranking the product on the basis of highest throughput accounting ratio. Now, here is one example because when you do more example, then you do understand the concept. Now, here is Corey Company producing three product X, Y, Z. The company Corey plant is restricted by process alpha. Process alpha is expected to be operational for eight hours per day. I can produce 1200 unit of X, 1500 unit of Y per hour, 600 unit Z. Now, the demand will be given to you as well. Calculate the profit at the daily output achieved uh, 46,000 for the X, 4500 for the Y, and 1200 unit of Z. Now, just be careful. Um, uh, I see like in previous video, I, as I explained, that uh, selling price minus the material cost is the throughput per unit. In the previous video, was throughput per machine hour because machine hours is the limiting factor here. Process alpha is the limiting factor because it's just operating eight hours per day. And you need to maximize the profit by making one of the unit as priority. And then the rest, if anything's left, you can spend hours on X or Z. So look, look at the throughput accounting ratio. Operating costs are 720,000. So the question asking is, Calculate the profit. So initially, your job is to calculate the product uh, profit. If the product achieve is 6,000 unit of X, 4,500 unit of Y, and 1,200 unit of Z. Okay. So how to calculate this one? So you see throughput. Okay. And 6,000 unit is achieved daily. Okay. So that is 6,000 unit times by 70 plus this is 90 actually is he made a mistake so 90 times 4500 which is this uh, plus 200 for the z and 1200 unit of z minus um, this operating cost per day so you're making 300 thousand pound profit now uh this result can be more better if you use throughput accounting ratio now, how to calculate throughput accounting ratio is again very simple. So that is given to you like per hour basis, per hour basis, because hours are limited. Okay, you cannot produce what you want. So first of all, your job is to calculate. So obviously you need to do cross comparison between the production and the cost. So here is the cost is given to you, 720,000 per day. Eight hours this machine operating a day. So each hour is 90,000. But then we need to compare the production, the profitability of each product. So look, this product making 70 pound or 70 dollar throughput. Okay. And in one hour, this machine can make 1200 units. So it means 84,000 dollar is a profitability, is throughput. But however, if you're making only this product, okay, then obviously you cannot achieve this result because this is the cost you need to recover. With 84,000, you cannot recover $90,000. However, if you're producing this product, so then you can cover the cost. That's why the throughput accounting ratio is high. It's more than one. If it's more than one, it means you are recovering the cost. Obviously, your job is to recover this £90,000. If you're producing this Z, Okay, so you can recover the cost of 90,000 because here is the maximum throughput. Now, the, but however, your job is to, to produce the product with the highest throughput accounting ratio, which is Y. So here is explanation. To finish your question, it's very simple. It's not possible to increase the number of factory hours available, which is eight hours can work. So priority should be given to product Y. Since as it has the highest throughput accounting ratio, if only product Y is sold, okay. If you think, if you're selling product Y, so it's very simple. 1500 units per hour can be made, as said in the question, times by eight hours machine working a day. So 12,000 units can be produced. So throughput would be 
uh, 12,000 unit times by 90 for this product, it's per day, and the total company cost is three uh, 720,000. So this minus 720,000, so 360,000. So this is 60,000 more per day than the profit made from the production mix in above part AC. If you're producing all of these, all of three, you're just making that much pro um, profit. But by making only Y, your profitability can be increased by 60,000. So there's, there's 300,000, this is 360,000. Well, if you have any question regarding this calculation, drop me a comment and I can explain in more detail. Thanks for watching. Bye.